Hello friends, this video on organisms and their surroundings part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So these were some of the uh, adaptation of different animals. Let us now talk about the types of habitats. Now we said that every animal has its own habitat and we also saw that how different animals are living in different habitats. Now we can also classify habitats. Let's see. So the first type is terrestrial habitat. This is the habitat on land. So there are animals which live on land. So the habitat, these type of habitats on land are called terrestrial habitat. In fact, the animals living on land are called terrestrial animals. So some of the examples of terrestrial habitat are forest, desert, grassland. So these are all on land. So they are examples of terrestrial habitat. The other type of habitat is aquatic habitat. Now, the term aqua means water. Aqua is related to water. So, the habitats in water is called aquatic habitat. So, the examples could be river, ocean, pond, lake. So, these are all examples of aquatic habitats. And again, sometimes we might feel that uh, the number of uh, organisms living in aquatic habitat is very less as compared to terrestrial habitat. But that is a misconception. Uh, you cannot imagine how many different varieties of organisms live in aquatic habitat. So if you actually start uh, seeing the organisms which live in ocean, since we do not go there and we do not encounter them, so we do not know. But there are a huge variety of organisms, both plants and animals, which live in aquatic habitat. Now, components in a habitat. So whenever we talk about a habitat, there are two different components which play a very important role. So the first component are the biotic components and the second component are the abiotic components. Now, first of all, what do we mean by component? Now, any habitat needs these two components to be complete. So biotic components are nothing but the living components, those living organisms are the biotic components. Bio means life. And abiotic components are the non-living components. Now, whenever you talk about any habitat, for example, you talk about the forest. So, what are the two basic components that are needed for a forest to be there, for the forest to exist? First of all, you need the biotic components, that is the living organisms like the plants, the animals, the insects, the birds who live in the forest. So the plants and animals, they are the biotic components. Now, you might ask that, okay, so if we have the living organisms in the forest, that's it. Why do we need abiotic components? Now, do you think that these organisms can survive on their own? These organisms, in order to survive, they depend on a lot of non-living components. For example, they need water and water is non-living. They need soil, soil is again non-living. They need air, air is again non-living. So soil, water, air, these are all examples of non-living components without which these living components cannot survive. So you think of any habitat, whether it is terrestrial habitat or aquatic habitat, every habit, habitat has to have these two basic components, the biotic components and the abiotic components. So let us look at the biotic components. These are the living components of a habitat. So the living components could be huge animals, it could be human beings, it could be fishes, birds, insects. So tiny organisms. So organisms of different shapes and sizes can be included under this biotic component. So if you take the example of a forest's ecosystem, so their biotic components would include animals, birds, insects, etc. And the plants as Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.